Okay, so, well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are still where we left last time. We were supposed to go speak with Sir Robart. Okay. But right now, I think I should go and find a bed. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um... Where? Oh, no, 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 wait. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, uh, down here. Sir Robart. Okay. Sir, talk to me. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh, okay, so that's... I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved... Reputation loss? Why? Why have I lost I reputation? I why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. Thank you so and much. And a wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> God reward you for <laughs> the your poor guy. He's not exactly He's used to royalty. Or You're ability, incapable, in hand, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Not exactly used to nobility, the poor guy. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yes, sir. All right. So can oh. I eat something? Okay, yes, something I can. Please let me eat. To eat. Oh. Okay. Oof. Okay, and you still need more, more food. Okay. I'll eat some bread rolls. Okay. What is this? Healing. Oh, I'm healing. Okay. How am I for food? Okay, I s could still use some more food. Oh, I have wine. Nice. I'll drink some. Maybe not. Okay, I'll 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 check some down. Oh, there goes my charisma. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna eat something. And I think we're good for food now. Okay, I just need to sleep now. Okay, now I'm supposed to go to bed. Can I speak with you? Greetings. What do you need? Okay, where can I buy something? If I needed some food, who should I ask? Who do you think, young man? Me, of course. And if you want something extra, I could help you out with that too. Trade. I'd like to buy something from you. What do you sell? Of course, lad. Good luck, then. Ah, okay, so food items. That That's the expected. Okay. <clears throat> Can I take... So Wait, why am I losing reputation? Do I lose reputation just by bumping into people? Holy heck, if that's true, I'm I'm done. <laughs> this game is gonna be I'm gonna have zero repu I'm gonna have negative reputation by the time this game ends. <laughs> 
if I just go about bumping into people and losing reputation, that'll not be fun. Okay, any more food items I can take? Okay, this is an easy lock. Oh, Rob, no, I can't rob. There's a lot of people here, so, okay. Let's go. Let's go sleep someplace. You're a villager. Okay, you're all you're a stable master. Mountain steel. Mountain steel. Where's my horse? Ah, here's my horse. Yeah, the one that doesn't say steel. Another villager. Another villager guard. Okay, I assume my room is here. Oh yeah, I see this. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Okay, this is my room. Tiredness. If you're tired, your stamina and eloqu eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed which you'll recognize from the icon in the compass. Sit on it, E, start E, and set how long you want to sleep. Okay, I'm hungry again. Oh, God. Okay. Just let's sleep. I must be going mad. Uh. I don't know how much I must sleep for, so I'll just sleep until here. It's 10 hours of sleep, all the way till morning. So, yeah, let's go, start. And of course we get interrupted. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled, if you see anything out of the ordinary. Yes, sir. It didn't take off the boots. <laughs> Maybe we had to do that ourselves. And I yes? clearly forgot. It is I, Henry. Ooh. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My, My lady, lady, I'm honored. Um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. Oh. I know this is all very new and strange for you. Drink. <laughs> but I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. She's forbidden territory, boy. She's the Lord's wife. <laughs> okay, tell the story. Let's go. Right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. Wait, what? It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I think something went wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, but, uh, but... I went to the tavern okay. to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I oh, headed okay, back home. So. I promised father I'd help him with his I don't think you're supposed to be to there, Henry boy. <laughs> he was forging a sword for Sir Radzin. Sir... 
Okay. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. This all kind of happened. father's work so. and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon. There was a huge horde of attackers. There was a huge horde of attackers. The horde so. of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful! Okay. And then death descended on Scalitz. The Scalitz folk fled to the castle for cover. I saw them kill my girl Bianca. Did I? Okay, they killed my father and father mother. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. Have we seen she Bianca get in the killed? Town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. The humans were plundering the village. The siege of Scalitz began. I needed a horse. I ran from my life. Okay, the humans were wasn't plundering the village. The humans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Okay. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. Yeah. I kind of just punched him in the back. Life. In the back. So, it's not really that heroic. It's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for yeah. the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by Greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but... A woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? <laughs> Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, 
Did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more? Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Are you smooth Would talker? Would it were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Thank you for the XP, I my lady. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Right. Let's see. Oh, nightmare time. father would never say that his father would never say that Henry wake up you don't want to miss this what is it? what's happening come to the battlements one of our patrols reported a company heading here from scallops I just want to wash my face can't I do that yet oh god okay never mind Torch. All right. Pressing Y. Oh, no, wait, no. Ah, now I know how to take out my sword. Oh, you're in for it now. Whew. Okay, this is a very easy lockpick, but I don't have lockpicks. Maybe the maybe the rain will wash my face. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Ah, here we are. Am I supposed to go here? Okay. Okay. I'm in a private area, okay. Good evening, gents. Jesus Christ be praised. You know what's happening? Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Scullitz, and now he's come to take Talmberg. Ah, Sigismund. That mad lad. So quick, so we wouldn't. God be with you. What's happening? Have you heard anything? No. It could be Sigismund's army. Or his scouts. Or maybe Scarlet's folk who survived the pillaging. I wouldn't expect nothing good. Alright. Funny, I got a level of speech. A level up on speech just by speaking with with people. So I'll try and do it as often as I can. Good day to you. Good day to you as well, sir. What's, What's going happened? on? Have you heard anything? No. No. Uh, 
could be Sigismund's army. Or <laughs> okay, so scouts, you're saying the same. Or maybe Scarlet. Okay, and I watch over you. Are you gonna say anything new? My respects to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you have something to say. I don't know, but I think I saw horsemen. Probably Sigismund and his mercenaries come to raid us. Yeah, most likely. We're gonna we gonna be dead. So Divish, another guard. God be with you. I'll speak with everyone. Just for the XP. Okay, so you have nothing new to say. You also might not have nothing new to say. Oh no, you have. Yeah, what's happening? Okay. Fucking Sigismund. <laughs> <You sure? laughs> I overheard a scout Divish sent to see how things look in Scarlet. It's Sigismund's soldiers for sure. Fucking Sigismund. <laughs> the guy just goes like epic Sigismund. Oh god. Jesus Christ be praised. You, have you know what's happening? Say. Don't answer me. I don't know shit. Just a minute ago, I was sleeping after a day's watch at the gate. I feel you, man. I feel it. I know the feeling. Good day to you. Okay, in dialogue. I don't think there's any point in. Go, yeah, there's no point in going there. Okay. Let's go to Sir Robard. Alright. What's going, What's going on? on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spy say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway. We'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Farewell. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! 
I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. True. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! So I guess I get to keep the sword for a little while longer then. Well, that's good. I'll have a chance to practice with it. All right. Men, so. tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, wait. No, no, no not really me. Henry! What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request to answer yes. Of course I'll help you. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done to me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. May the Lord watch over you. Alright. So I guess I'll just have to... Sit around? Do I walk around or something? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll stay here. <laughs> maybe I'll stay around here or just wander about. I don't know. I <laughs> Battlement watching isn't something I've done before, you know, so... Maybe if I talk to these guys... What do you think about the Scalitz folk managing to slip away like that? I can't imagine how they did it. The more I think about it, they was either blessed, or Sigismund's mercenary army ain't up to much. When you're on campaign, you keep watch no matter how much it's pissing down. If any of us make such a cock up, Sir Robard will flay his skin off our backs. You only say that because you never saw them attack. Oh. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay. What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to flee the siege? Thank the Lord. I thought it was Sigismund descending on us. It seems everyone thought that. Well, we were all expecting the worst. And the truth is, I'm still worried what will happen when Sigismund comes here. And come he will, of that I'm sure. I just hope we'll be as fortunate when we're face to face with that fucker. By the way, Henry, my condolences. Thank you. Take care. I also find it very weird that Ragzid just managed to slip away like that. Because they were surrounded by a big ass army. And I mean, it's not like some would not remain stationed to check the castle. So, you know, maybe Ragsid is, you know, maybe on Sigismund's payroll? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. So, okay. We'll just, we'll just keep two hours. Not a lot, we'll just keep two hours till morning. And then we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I don't think I skipped enough, but it's clearer now. There's someone else walking, walking about. I'm just gonna wait another two hours. Oh. Hey, 
Wait, hey, what? Let's go, let's go! Move it! Let's go, go! What is happening? Damn it, my stomach hurts. Oh, here we are. Jesus Christ. self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order. By burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Razzi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish, I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. I say farewell, <laughs> sir. Damn right. Look at that. We can breed easy, people. We can breed easy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oof. Bloody hell. I was close. Woohoo! My lord, you have my utmost permission. Get on with you, Robard.
One day, bold guy, one day we'll get ya. This town ain't gonna last much. <laughs> it is definitely not gonna last much. Oh boy. Okay. The game saved. And uh, I have to stop for now. So, objective started. Get a horse. Okay, so we'll just stop here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I hope you are enjoying this series. Uh, it has been very cutscene heavy. Uh, Sir, Sir, Sir Divish. There we go, Sir Divish. Good on you. Uh, Sir Divish was having some problems over with the thatch roof. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I, I most certainly have. Even though this game is, at the beginning, very cutscene heavy. But, uh, yeah, we have... We have explored quite a bit, although very fast. But, uh, I am wishful and hopeful that the game will open up quite soon, if not already. If it's not already open. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Sorry for the longer video, but the cutscenes. I would not skip the cutscenes. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And... Bye bye. I still have a torch on. Why do I still have a torch on? Aha! No more torch! See you, to get something to eat. See you guys soon. To get hungry. Bye bye.